perform some task. The robot attached to your body is disturbed all the time. So first uh, we uh, have to come up with uh, you know, some you know, um, control um, to compensate for the disturbance. And first uh, we um, put to use a, uh, you know, a few um, you know, optical uh, sensors to detect the motion of the body. Um, and uh, you know, uh, looking at the environment, so relative to the say wall, you know, uh, in front of you, how much you moved. So um, and then actually, computer is to calculate how much um, you know motion that the robot has to make in order to compensate for it, to cancel out the human motion. And this is a challenging job, but I know uh, we can apply uh, successfully apply a control field of control uh, you know, strategy to com compensate for it. Um, but more interesting things to me is that, uh, say uh, again, it is not the robot sitting uh, next to you. Hmm. Uh, one you know, important aspect uh, uh, I'd like to really explore is that you know, say the robot is to hold uh, you know something, um, say you know uh, grab some uh, you know a rail or uh, you know lean towards the wall. Um, well, if this is a robot uh, that is sitting next to you, you know you just uh, visually observe, yeah, robot is leaning towards the wall or grab something. But uh, since the robot is attached to your body you feel some reaction force from the you know, robot. And you, know, you observe the, you know, that uh, you know, motion. At the same time, you feel, you know, we call it you know, haptics you know, in robotics, you, you get the haptic sensation. And it needs to happen at the same time. And this is a very important point. Uh, so that uh, you know, additional arms uh, can be conceived as part of the body. Uh, there's an interesting, uh, you know, um, experimental psychology, um, you know, research. It's called the third third arm illusion, and the third arm illusion, and you know, happens uh, under some specific, uh, you know, conditions. But suppose you have a fake arm, a rubber arm, and then a true arm, and if someone tickle your fingers and the rubber you know, hands and fingers at the same time. You observe two you know, are actually tickled at the same time. And after some training, you, know, um, and, uh, you tickle only the rubber hand, then you feel that uh, your own finger is being tickled. So human brain is very you know, plastic. You know, to uh, you know, conform to uh, such things. And uh, I would say that you know, um, extra arms that we like to put in the uh, you know, human body, you know, could, be conceived, could be conceived as part of the body if we do things in property. One basic requirement is that uh, you know, some physical sensation, some uh, haptic physical interactions that happens at the same time as a visual inspection. So, you know, we really emphasize this point. It's not actually the robot sitting next to you. It is attached to your body. So whatever the robot uh, does, it's actually in some way and felt by the human. And then observe that one. These two pieces of information go to your brain at the same time. There are some connection in between. That's a very fundamental requirement, uh, you know, for putting the robot, you know, on your body. And then you feel that one is a part of your body.